All right, so in this video, we're going to go over parametizing rectangular equations. So the previous video, we learned how to take the parameter out. Now we're going to learn how to put a parameter t into a new rectangular equation. All right, so parametizing rectangular equations, it's the process of splitting apart y equals x equations, so linear or rectangular equations, and adding in a t parameter. All right, this is a, a two-step program. You take the given parameter and solve for either x or y. It will only have one variable. It'll, it'll either be x or it'll either be y. So you solve for either x or y, whichever is there. Step two, plug in that letter into the original formula and solve for the other letter. All right. Take a moment to write that down so you have that, because I'm going to be referring back to that as I do the next problem. Okay. So let's parametize y equals 2x plus 3 using the parameter of t equals x minus 4. So step one was take the given parameter and solve for either x or y. So our parameter here is t equals x minus 4. So, since, since we have x, we're going to be solving for x. If this had been y minus 4, we'd have been solving for y. So, add 4, add 4. So, x equals t plus 4. All right, that is the first half of your answer, is x equals t plus 4. Because remember, with these parametric equations, we have two different equations. We have an x equals and a y equals. All right. So now what you do, step two says plug in that letter into the original formula and solve for the other letter. So we know that x is now t plus 4, so we're going to take this t plus 4 and put it in for the x right here. So we're going to get y equals 2 times t plus 4 plus 3. Now you just simply solve it. Distribute. So this is going to be 2t plus 8 plus 3. So it's going to be 2t plus 11, and that equals y. So your second half of your answer is y equals 2t plus 11. And those two equations are our parametized equations. All right, so it's fairly simple. The first one, like we did here, you just simply take your parameter and solve for either x or y, whichever one is present. And once you solve it for either x or y, that's the first equation for your answer. Then, since, since this one we solve for x, we're going to take the t plus 4, plug it in for the x in this equation, like we did, 2 times t plus 4 plus 3, and then you just simply simplify it down for y. So y equals 2t plus 11. That is your second equation. You have your two equations. We are now finished. All okay. right. You try this one. Pause the video and parameterize y equals 3x squared using the parameter t equals x plus 3. So go ahead and pause the video and figure this one out. All right. So the first step is solve your parameter for either x or y. So x equals t minus 3. All right, so now the second step is to plug the t minus 3 into the original formula. So we're going to have y equals 3 parentheses t minus 3 squared. All right, don't forget that when you plug it in for x, since x is squared, the entire thing that you're plugging in for x will also be squared. All right, and remember, t minus 3 squared, you can't just distribute the squared through. This is the same as writing the t minus 3 twice, so you're going to have to FOIL this together. Or if you know the shortcut, you can use the shortcut. All right, the shortcut is going to be t squared. You multiply these together, so negative 3t, and then double it, negative 6t, then you square the last term, plus 9. All right. Now just distribute the 3 through. So you're going to get y equals 3t squared minus 18t plus 27. 
Alright. And that is your parametized equation. Alright, hopefully you got that. If not, feel free to review the video and see where you went wrong. But I trust that y'all got it. So, Alright, feel free to watch this video as many times as you need to. Make sure when you come to class tomorrow you're ready to work some problems. See you tomorrow.